you could only achieve certain goals if you are part of a larger organization and if you uh, exchange views with uh, other people, with other countries, if you share your experiences and if you strive towards a common goal. If you look into the agenda of the European Commission, they all asked for uh, knowledge circulation, for uh, finding out smarter ways to produce, finding out better ways to have services like healthcare bring to people. And with our networks and our kind of uh, professional training and research, we uh, could deliver that. But it's, it's still for us a struggle to get our position in the European uh, uh, arena of higher education to be recognized as one of the solutions. It's so important to put the knowledge triangle on the agenda and see what role the universities of applied sciences may play. And they are in the forefront, I think, in many ways in the, the knowledge triangle because they are used to both education, research, applied research and to innovative and create new jobs. So I have great expectations and there are so many people present here today and it's so much energy, you can feel it. So I have great expectations. The report that was presented by Professor Bonhoff the, uh, is an impressive uh, report and I'm looking forward to reading the, the detail of it. But as she uh, presented it, it is a, a working document on which I believe universities of applied science can build in order to improve their uh, capacity in relation to applied research across all the countries where they operate. To me, the topic of the next decade will be the lifelong learning process. I think that we have to organize a breakthrough in that field and in that area, especially the UAS have a lot to offer and I think that we together with the world of work, with the governments, can prepare ourselves for the future and we will do so. Students are approached by companies with a very special problem and it is the companies that seek advice from the students more or less through their project work and their input and I think this is the perfect linkage between education and theory on the one side and the practice and the um, practical approach and the real labour market on the other side. But these two groups come together and try to figure out a solution to a given specific problem. In Utrecht we work closely together with uh, Utrecht University, a uh, uh, high-ranked uh, uh, research university and we always say we are, uh, they uh, produce the knowledge by fundamental research and we bring it to society in all kinds of fields, it's engineering of education or healthcare. So by having uh, a different focus but uh, working strongly together uh, you have the, bo the best of both. You see this academic drift, everybody, everybody wants to be the same. But I think it's very important that the, that the universities of applied sciences, they have their niche that is close related to the labour market and to applied research. My workshop was about the Universities of Applied Science in uh, European funded programmes. And uh, there were three examples from Austria, Switzerland and France. Um, they provided very useful examples to people as to how to go about building a, a, a participation in EU funded programmes. Um, it was very well attended, uh, lots of questions and discussion and I think people took away some very useful strategies that they could begin to explore in their own uh, universities at home. Yeah, our workshop was on quality assurance. The evaluation criteria no longer focuses on traditional academic research, which was always evaluated in the number of citations and, and papers that were written, but they also encompass uh, the, the social aspects, the impacts on society, 
that research may have and, and many other criteria that are more relevant to our work. Investing in research done by universities of applied sciences could be a way or one of the solutions to solving Europe's economic difficulties. Then research is important in the sense that research should be tied to uh, academic uh, qualifications. And we perceive research as it not only being necessary, but it's fundamental towards uh, having the better quality in our universities and in higher education as a whole. The more research, the more quality uh, higher education institutions will have.